we are in Galveston, Texas. We live in Dallas. We come down once a year uh, to the beach and uh, we do all kinds of beach things. Um, I had the opportunity to, um, to purchase a new device for us uh, to play around with out in the water. And I wanted to talk a little bit about that because I thought it was really, really cool. Uh, so back in, um, it would be March of 2016, I saw on Shark Tank this company called Slide Handboards and both Mark Cuban and Aston Kutcher bought into the business. And what this does is it enables you to, uh, to body surf, uh, but more effectively, you get a lot more speed. And I wanted to talk a little bit about my experience with the board, okay? So uh, what I bought was is the board itself. It came with the, uh, the lanyard here, and it also came with a case. So the thing is absolutely top notch. It is an expensive device, however it works, right? And to me, that goes a long, long way. Uh, while I was picturing this in my head and we were coming down to the beach, I thought initially that um, this might be a bit of a problem because this goes over your bicep like this and then it's a Velcro apparatus and you tighten it down. And I thought what was going to happen was that it was going to slide off and it wasn't going to work, but it works perfectly so I can certainly um, vouch for that. Uh, we as a family spend a lot of time in the Dallas area on boats. So we have sort of that, you know, sort of that vibe going on. So when we came down here, I thought, you know, I was just going to jump on this board and everything was going to be great and I was going to be sailing through the water and, you know, be done with it. It doesn't really happen that way. Um, you really need to sort of um, get used to it. You need to practice, right? It definitely takes that. And by day three, I was flying through these waves. Um, the other part of this is, is that as, as soon as you as an adult start to sort of dominate the, and, and get a hold of how this thing actually works, Next thing you want to do is, is try it out with kids, and here's Emily, my granddaughter, and she's seven and a half, so we went out in, in the water, and she kneeboards behind our boat, so she can sort of figure things out, right, with a tow rope and, you know, working all the, all the balance problems out and yes. so forth. And one of the things that we saw was is that her whole hand will go in, actually into the, put your hand in here, hon, and show them. Put your hand up in here and show them how it, it, it goes in. So she tends to want to get her whole arm in there. And really, it, it works to some extent, but I think it could be improved because with the handboard, okay, pull out. With the handboard, what you want to do is you want to get it out in front of you. And that's what really gives you your speed. And um, with the kids, they tend to want to pull it up under, pull it up underneath their, their chest, which is, defeats the purpose, right? Because this raises you up out of the water if you go like this. And you get a lot of speed coming down the wave. Um, so, you know, one of the things that would be really great is to have some kind of a strap um, that I could swap out maybe for the kids, either a smaller for their hands, or I can envision something for that they could grab onto like this and force them to get it out in front of them because, as I mentioned, they tend to want to bring it back on their chest and it sinks down so they lose speed. Um, it took a lot of time for me to work out and get reattuned to how to read a wave. Once I read the wave, speed was not a problem. This thing will just fly you through the water. And in Galveston, there are a ton and ton and tons of waves, but they're not big, right? They're, they don't have these gigantic curls and stuff that you can get up underneath it. Um, so once I learned to read the wave, just before it starts to break and jump with it, the speed was incredible, and I loved every, every minute of it. Um, what I did before we came was I bought a set of fins, and I saw some guys on YouTube who were actually using fins with the slide handboard. The, the, what I learned was pretty quickly is that I don't really need them here. Um, you stand in sort of waist deep water or maybe chest deep and you catch the wave here uh, while you're standing and you jump toward it and it's, it's fine. You don't need to mess around with the, uh, with the fins at all. If you're in deeper water, I can really see where you would need that to get, the, the, um, to get some speed up and, and catch the wave. Uh, so unnecessary, don't need them. Uh, as soon as I got rid of them, my life got a lot easier and I started catching a lot of waves. I also wait for waves too. Um, you know, the bigger sets come in um, at intervals. And uh, once I figured out how to, again, how to read it, how to get on it at, at the right time, it took care of itself. Uh, I love the product. Uh, I would, you know, a few modifications here and there I think would be amazing. Other than that, I'm totally pleased. Thanks for watching.